Hi, my name is Sherry Pittman. In this example, I'll be showing you how to create a new wall type in Revit from an existing wall type. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create two new wall types. One is going to be a single thickness wall, so something like flashing if I wanted to you know, use a wall in place of flashing. So for example, maybe to cover the edge of an exposed beam or something. The second one will be a compound wall, which is something that has multiple layers. So we'll do this simple one first. So I'm going to start the wall tool. I'm going to edit type and duplicate because I don't want to change this one. I'm just going to call it flashing. And I started with the generic wall because that's just a single thickness wall. So now we'll edit the structure. And then in here, you're just going to change it to whatever thickness you want. So I'm going to change this to an eighth of an inch. And we'll say OK. And you'll just OK all the way out. And then you'll just draw your wall. So let's say I'm going to copy this wall. I want to create a compound wall. So I don't know. Just I'm just going to make up a random wall. So I'm going to select one of my walls. Same concept. I'm going to edit. I'm going to find a similar wall, so something with multiple layers in it already. And I'm going to duplicate it. And we'll just call this the plumbing wall. So I'm going to edit the structure again. I'm going to come in here and change anything that's already in here that I can. So let's say I want to use half inch for the jib and half inch on this side. I'm going to change this to be substrate because I'm going to put plywood on each side of this. So we'll find the plywood material. We'll give it a thickness. I'm just going to use quarter inch. And we'll change this to wood. And we'll change its thickness to nine and a quarter. And then I still need to add, you know, my structural plywood in here. So you'll click the insert tab. If this happened to end up in the wrong location, you can move it up or down to move it into the right location. You'll notice you're working from the outside of the wall to the inside of the wall. So you'll know how to you know, build this wall the way you need it. Again, I'm going to change this to substrate, change the category to plywood for the material, and set its thickness. So that's your entire wall the way you need it. So once it's correct, you'll just say OK and OK. And if I zoom in here and I change this to medium or fine, then you can see the layers within the wall. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching. If you were watching really close, you probably noticed that when I was building the wall, I accidentally sent one of my plywood settings to structure rather than substrate. But it was wrong, so hopefully you know that you were supposed to fix that. If not, now you do, and thanks again.